going on guys Lewis B back again with another video and I know it's been a while but there's been a really 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 good reason why it's taken me a month or so to upload because I've been waiting on something um, as you know in my last video I had the A5 um, lovely car S line but that was actually parked up um, about oof, yesterday I come out of that and today what I've got in front of me can't help the smile I've got a brand new 2019 Audi S3 so you would have seen from the b-roll at the start how nice this car is and I don't know if I'm being biased or whatnot but it's probably one of the best hot hatches around so yeah this is the Audi S3 black edition you'll notice that it's a black edition by looking at the grill um, you've also got the black edition alloys you've got the black wind mirrors on the side all of this is usually chrome that's all black but you've got the privacy glass also really dark rear window then you've got the black diffuser also and that is followed all the way around this side of the car as well so you guys would have seen in previous videos for those who are subscribed and been watching for a while that I did actually have a blue one feature on the channel um, that car was actually um, a friend of mine so now I've actually got sort of my own one I'm gonna have this for quite a while there's gonna be so much content coming with this and um, I don't really want to dig too deep on this video because there's gonna be lots of in-depth videos to come um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new car um, and sort of what I'm rolling around in at the moment. I mean, just look at it. Like, it's just wicked. I mean, you've got the nano grey um, finish on the car as well. So this is a metallic paint. I actually had a TT in this colour before I started the channel. Um, so yeah, bring back some memories here. So 300 brake horsepower. Um, 0 to 60 I think it's advertised about 4 point you see 4.7 or 4.9 seconds something like that but really this car would do it in a bit under that um, I mean I've looked at the car well video um, where the guy on there Matt he actually done um, the 0 to 60 in it with his sort of timing equipment and it come up something like I think it was like 4.5 seconds something like that um, and there's not much on the road um, sort of that can do this kind of performance um, I mean obviously you've got your A35 you've got your um, what was it BMW F? the M140 for instance now they've got the M135i out now as well um, but there's not really much that you'll come across on everyday driving um, that will sort of have this on the lights not that I'm a boy racer or anything like that but it's just nice having the power in there I mean you've got the Quattro four wheel drive system on it um, so you've got the grip when you need it and this is literally straight from the showroom so you'll see it's um, clean I mean I've only done I think 40 miles in it myself, I had 30 miles in it when I picked it up, sort of delivery mileage um, so yeah the car's not running yet, I've not really tested its full potential and stuff but yeah, there'll definitely be driving videos to come um, also well, it's all, all different features, looking at the technology pack on the car, that I'll show you in a minute um, the spec I've gone for, we'll go down break down the spec in some more detail uh, but today's sort of really just showing you about the car and what I have almost come in because I know you've heard it numerous of times that I'm going to do more content, more content, more content, regular uploads, two, three uploads a week. But now I've actually got something to bring to you guys. I mean, there'll still be other stuff here and there, but I'm going to be doing a lot in this car. And um, we've got some minor exciting changes happening to it. Um, we'll be going some places in the car as well. Um, so, yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's go in the inside and then let's have a breakdown and see why I've chosen the spec. Right guys, so in the driver's seat of the car now, I don't know how the lighting's coming up. My face is like literally very, very bright. But oh well, in the cabin, the S3, um, where it's probably my second favourite place in the car because I mean, outside is so nice to look at. Um, but yeah, not taking anything away from the inside. I've had a few A3s, um, so I'm familiar with the interior. Um, of the car so obviously it's nothing kind of new to me I mean I know this car inside and out from the inside um, inside and out 
and front to back so yeah let me show you some of the stuff we've got in here um, so this being the black edition I mean pretty much everything is standard um, other than the technology pack that I have to, in the car um, so I'll show you that now so you've got the virtual cockpit with it being an S model you have um, the central kind of um, dial here central display so this isn't available on stuff like the A3 and the A5 unless you get the S products but it's avail available in the TT black edition now you get this sort of sporty cockpit so you've got this view here when you're kind of I mean you've got the nav on it's more a bit more usable you've got your speed there you've got your revs that side as well um, then also tells you what gear you're in um, but also if you go on this it's a bit more of an aggressive display you've got a little boost bar down at the bottom right um, you've got the central rev um, display with the what mode you're in so at the moment we're in individual and then you've got your miles an hour and then obviously you've got your map here which you can sort of zoom in and out on so yeah very very nice and usable dashboard I've got the flat bottom steering wheel here which is standard on this car um, yeah, I've got the mat here. As I was saying, it's literally got, let's find out, 71 miles on the clock. I mean, I've done 39.2 in it myself. So, yeah, I've still got them, the mats in here. Um, you know what you like when you get a new car, your OCD about the um, smell and then how dirty it gets. And then, after a few hundred miles, you're at McDonald's, isn't it? But yeah, I don't know if that's picking up. You've got the red stitching around the mats. Um, same on the passenger side. Looking at the seats, um, everything's kind of every day-ish if that's even a word I mean you've got leather seats usable when you're in here you don't feel like you're in a performance car um, or like a hot hatch I mean that's the beauty of the S3 because it is a massive all-rounder I mean you've still got the luxury of the car um, as you see all the trims are just solid um, I mean to be honest with you, the trim is kind of dated now. This has been going on since about 2013, late 2012. This kind of interior with the um, poppy up screen as well. Um, but the technology pack kind of refreshes it a little bit. But never to, nevertheless, this is sort of a solid car. So everything's really, really well built as you'd expect from a German brand. Um, you've got the bang knowledge and speakers there as well. You can see the little in, the lighting there. Um, these speakers are just crazy, honestly. Um, it's hard to go into a car without these speakers. I mean, the Audi sound system is good enough, but the basic system I'd, I would avoid if you like listening to music, but it's good for your sort of radio listening. But yeah, Audi sound system um, is kind of essential, but the Bang & Olufsen is just that extra bit of luxury. I mean, the bass, everything, that is a really, really good speaker system. And then, yeah, again, you guys who've been watching my content and stuff like that, you'll know my favourite feature simple little feature is the automatic handbrake that makes your life in traffic so much easier um and then obviously you've got the black roof it being the black edition you've got the the rear windows are tinted as well so it's a bit more sort of darker in the cab in the cabin um feels a bit more refined and stuff like that to remind you you're in the s3 all you've really got is um you've got the s3 logo there in the in the um, driver's display and then you've got the Quattro badge here. I mean, you can get an A3 in Quattro. Um, so that's not really a uh, sort of a difference. There's no sort of difference there. But, I mean, yeah, it kind of reminds you you're here in the S3. And you've got the S logos on the seats as well. I don't know if that's picking up. Maybe go to that seat. You'll be able to see it. Yeah, you've got S logos in the seat. Um, an S logo on the steering wheel as well. But, yeah, pretty kind of, um, let's not say basic but it's very professional in here i mean it just all works i mean everything's usable and it's just solid i mean there's nothing you can really i'd really add to this car you've got heated seats there as well which is essential with the leather seats because you know what it's like with leather you're getting in the winter they're freezing you get in the summer they're hot and sticky um, so you can't really win with leather but it's sort of a nice feel and leather's kind of the way forward i feel i mean the half and half is good but the S3 comes with the full lever anyway, and I prefer full lever. I mean, it's proper lever. It's not like a sort of fake lever. It's like a sort of fine napper lever as well, uh, which you'd expect from a car uh, around this price range. Speaking of price, um, this car is just under the 40k mark. 
you can go crazy with the S3s. You can get the sunroof, which I kind of wanted, but I'll probably be having this car throughout the winter, so I thought there was no point. But in the summer, definitely a sunroof would be an option. Um, what else can we get on this car? You can get some like driver assistance packages as well, where you have like lane assist, you've got adaptive cruise control, um, you've got sensors on the mirrors for when you're changing lane, like blind spot assist, for instance. Um, what else can you get on this car actually? You get reversing camera, front and rear sensors. This comes with rear um, standard, but I don't have the front sensors. But as I said, I'm used to driving this size car, so that's not too much of an issue for me. Um, I can get by quite nicely. But yeah, we'll definitely be a video of driving this car, first impressions, uh, we'll go through launch control in this car, we'll go on some trips with this car, um, what else can we do? Anything you guys can think of, leave in the comments, we'll do some content. I know a lot of you guys, um, surprisingly, actually like my videos and actually watch my videos. Um, I've seen the comments like, where have you gone, or do this, do that, but I, just, I was just waiting for this car, um, I mean... I understand the content may be a bit dry, you may think different. Other people probably in the comments saying, yeah, Larry, your content's dry, it's rubbish. But, yeah, I'm doing my best. Uh, maybe I need, oh, what do I need? I need to brush up on, hmm, what do I need to brush on? Yeah, you let me know in the comments. I mean, there's no such thing as negative feedback. Every bit of feedback helps you in life, so, yeah. Get in the comment section, blow it up, ideas, abuse me. But yeah, not as much as um, abuse as you guys would like to give me. Some good comments, please, to keep me going. But yeah, there will be some content, so we'll jump out of the car now. And jumping out of the car, you'll notice the Audi entry lights, which I've got on the other side of the car as well. It just gives that all sort of like, hmm, not professional. But it just gives that extra touch. I mean, other entry lights are just shocking. I mean, I've seen some terrible, like, knockoff entry lights. Too big, too small, colours in, just look kind of tacky. But them entry lights are quite professional. I mean, you can see it from a distance. When you go close up as well. See that proper, proper clear entry lights. Um, and then we come around to the back. This is just my favourite bit of the car. I mean, we'll do a five things I like and hate about the car. Not much that I hate, but... Look at the exhaust, like the back of the car is what sets the S3 off. I mean, the amount of looks I've had in the 40 odd miles that I've actually driven has been crazy. I mean, I'm on the A roads and stuff like that and everyone's just breaking in it, looking at it. I mean, I've not really seen a black edition S3 in this color. They're not too common. You see a lot of like maybe 18 plates, 17 plates um, in some good specs. But I haven't seen this sort of wheel combination and stuff like that um, around where I'm from anyway. But yeah, there'll be a lot of videos coming in this car. I mean, it's probably my best car that I've had. Um, I think all my friends will agree, you guys will agree, it's the best car that I've had um, ever. I've had some nice cars. Um, but yeah, let me know in your comments what car you liked best, what I've, what's been on the channel. Um, obviously, there's been the Bentley and stuff like that, so... Obviously, it's probably going to be a favourite car, but the car that I've actually had and used and done a driving videos on, let me know in the comments what you think is the best car. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, I'm trying to hit the 1,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. So what are we in? We're in October now. So we've got two months, and I think we're just around 700 subscribers. So 300 subscribers in two months. So let's gain it. So like, share, um, again, again, get in the comments. Um, and yeah, more content to come. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed seeing my new car and you'll be seeing me and her again very soon. So yeah, enjoy whatever it is you was doing before you clicked on.